was supposed to be a simple drug deal. Let's do this. But cops in Houston say when Antonio De La Cruz and a friend went to Nicholas Acosta's house on August 31st, 1998, things quickly went bad. What's up? You open for business? Let me get it. Dela Cruz strangled Acosta, then grabbed a kitchen knife and stabbed him 17 times. This crime stands out not only because of how brutal it was, but because of, this is a a hands-on murder. It's not a it's not a shooting. It's up close and personal in in your face. Police say Dela Cruz then instructed his accomplice Jose Garcia to carry out the next part of their plan. In the truck, there's a container of gas. Go get it. They'll think he died on the fire. The gasoline, we believe, was going to be used to hide what happened in the house by burning the house down. But Garcia had second thoughts, and instead of going back inside with a gas can, he ran about a mile to his mother's home, where he called police. <laughs> Plans between crooks often don't work out, and this is a great case for that. Well, we pulled up to the house. And as police spoke with Garcia, De La Cruz drove by to see what happened to his buddy. He'd be in for a big surprise. That's the guy who killed him, right there. chasing this guy through the southeast Houston and he's he's just driving like a wild man chased De La Cruz nearly 100 yards before they finally caught him. This is not what you expect to see after a chase. I've been in a lot of chases. I've had people jump out and do silly things. Never have I seen anyone get out with a can of gasoline. De La Cruz was taken to a local hospital for his burns. He was then charged with capital murder. Although most accused murderers in Harris County, Texas, are not granted bail, De La Cruz's father was a bail bondsman. Police say he used his influence to get a $100,000 bond for his son. De La Cruz then immediately fled. As for De La Cruz's accomplice, Jose Garcia, he later confessed and is serving 25 years. Antonio De La Cruz has burn scars across his torso. Police say he's a violent drug dealer who probably is still in Texas and getting by on his street smarts. If you've seen Antonio De La Cruz, call our hotline at 1-800-CRIME-TV. And remember, you can remain anonymous. Coming up. John Walsh gets down and dirty. It is really nasty in here. It's muddy, dirty, it stinks, rats. As he takes you on the trail of a predator. We uh, drive all the way back into this tunnel, approximately a, a mile, 
leave them back in here and dry them out. Find out how your tips led to the light at the end of this tunnel. Next.